Hello, this is Ron Nutter with another edition of Tech Bytes with Ron Nutter. For this particular one, this is uh, this is one that's near and dear to my heart. What we're going about to see is a video I shot with some indoor still shots inside Cisco's emergency response vehicle. For those of you who haven't heard of this, please watch this video very carefully because this is the kind of vehicle and a disaster of any magnitude your local emergency manager is going to want to know is available. Cisco does not charge for this resource. There's some steps and some protocols that have to be followed, but this is a no charge service from Cisco. This was the understanding I got from them because they simply want to help in times of need. They have several uh, trucks equipped in the United States, and then they have smaller uh, suitcase type operations they can use when it's a smaller event or if it's something overseas. We'll go to the video and then uh, we'll come back in just a second. I wasn't sure if we were going to see this at the show or not. This is Cisco Emergency's response vehicle. This is something they will roll out on a major disaster and help get communications back up until conventional services can be restored. And you can see the big satellite dish they got up there. They've got a whole IP-based phone system. They will do anything they can in an emergency to help get a local area back up in communications until they can get services restored. Now we're going to walk a little bit here around the side so you can see the mast that they've got. So there is a little bit of everything that they can do with this truck. And you can see right up here at the top, and let's see if we can zoom in. So it's going to get a little grainy because the light's not real good up there. But you can see that they've got, they can do video cameras up there. They can do an impromptu wireless network, whatever is needed to get an area up in case of emergency. And having been a former volunteer first responder myself in emergency management several years ago, I can't tell you in an emergency how much a truck like this can mean to get you up and running, at least get the basis to communications up where you can, can get help from the outside world. So this is something that if you ever see this at Cisco Live or if you see it out, this is definitely worth a look see. And let's see if we can get here a little bit closer. I'm waiting for somebody to, to clear here. And we'll get a little bit closer to some of the onboard equipment they have. So this is, you can only get so close here, but this is something that is very useful in the event of an emergency. So you can see the whole package there. And it's, it's something you hope is never needed, folks. But if it is, it's nice to know a company like Cisco is willing to put their, uh, their money where the mouth is. Now this is an indoor shot that you can see this is toward this is at the front of the vehicle looking back towards the the rear of the truck on the inside. So as you can see it's got a full blown video conferencing system so that wherever this truck is it can communicate two way video on satellite so that the local people on scene can get the resources they needed to get them back up and running. Now, it wouldn't be Cisco unless we had a good amount of gear in here, and they have gone to great lengths to make sure that this is pretty much state-of-the-art with what is available at this point. And there's a shot to the right. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to get a good picture of that. They have virtually a radio of almost every kind that's out there right now. So they can move into an area. They can get the radios programmed very quickly because they have the skilled people coming with the trucks so that they can get you up and running at least at a very basic level until normal services can be restored. And it's not unusual that while Cisco is on scene on an emergency that they can do video conferences to show other people what they can do with the truck. Now that is only done once the bulk of the emergency is passed and they're pretty much in a in just a sitting mode, you know, keeping what they've got up and running until regular services can be restored. 
Now, it's not always possible to have a good antenna out there or, you know, for whatever reason. So they have this nice little gem, and it just looks like a ball on a stand until you get closer. And it's a satellite dish that can be very easily aimed so they can get to just about whatever bird that they would want to use. So this is a very well thought out vehicle. And there are times that I can see where this is very handy to have. And these are just the ones that are set up for here in, in the U.S. They have a, some more portable setups for when they would have to deploy outside the continental U.S. If you know of somebody in emergency management, please get this video to them. Let them know this is a resource. If they want to learn more, have them get a hold of me. There's contact information on my website, ronnutter.com. Leave a comment for me on whatever venue you have seen this video on, whether it's on Facebook, which is initially where this is going. I will have this out on YouTube because I want to help get the word out. In talking with the manager responsible for this, there's some questions that I will need to ask in a brief, very brief conversation with the emergency manager requesting more information. And then I'll put the two of you together. They just, it's a very small group that does this, so they don't want to be overwhelmed. And I want to respect that. So I just want to get the two of you together and make this a win-win for everybody. So please, if you, if you are in emergency management, reach out to me. If you know somebody who is, and they don't know about this resource, please uh, have them look at the video and have them reach out to me because I want to do whatever I can to help get this to be as successful as it can be and help in an emergency. Thank you for your time.